new background. Hello my lovely vapies, welcome back. Today's video is my February 2016 favorites. So if you're new to this channel, at the end of every month I like to go back over the month of reviews that I did and pick my favorites from each vaping category from the month of reviews. So these are favorites based on everything I looked at in the month of February. My favorite e-liquid, my favorite atomizer, my favorite vaping hardware device. Sometimes I throw in my favorite accessory if I happen to look at a new vaping accessory or not. So this month, oh my god. It was so easy. Usually I have such a tough time picking out my favorites from the month because I usually fall in love with like at least four different e-liquid lines and you know, usually look at a couple different really good hardware stuff. So I am just so excited. This month was so easy. So I'm really stoked to let you guys know what I have been loving this month. And I guess I was gonna start with the e-liquid but I think I'm gonna save that for last because that's the best one. I think like, I'm just like so shocked because I just, I have one e-liquid and usually I'm like, like, oh, narrow it down to like two or three but this month hands down no question what my favorite e-liquid is from the month and don't forget to let me know down in the comments below what you are absolutely loving this month what is your favorite e-liquid vaping device an atomizer or atomizer hardware combo so the first one I'm going to start with is my favorite atomizer it has to go to the new Joytech Cubis. It has the cup technology so you fill it and it just has the cup and I think it is amazing. That technology is amazing. Now I like I said in the original video Joytech coils seem to be a little bit farther behind versus like Kanger Tech or Anakin. Those are my favorite types of coils but for Joytech this is an amazing coil. They did a really good job with this I think. I have had no leaking but there's no airflow adjustability on here. That would contribute to the fact that it doesn't leak. But I just love the, the cup design. It's such an easy fill. There's just a huge, there's no mess, there's no fuss, there's no nothing. It's just so easy. Just untake the top off and fill and put it back in and go. And I just really like the look of it. I have it here on my MVP version 3 Pro. I put this drip tip on it. I really prefer the clear drip tip look. And it does produce great vapor and very good flavor production for a Joytech coil. But the reason I'm just so in love with it is because of the overall design and the cup technology just fascinates me. And so I've been using this a lot as far as like usually I'm either using my Cool Fire 4 or my Nebox. But I'm actually really loving this and loving this setup together. So next, my favorite vaping device. So this is like the battery, the hardware of the vaping out. This is kind of like a combo, but I feel like, and you know, I haven't yet to try this out because I was doing a one, I'm doing a one month update for it. So I was like, oh, I should totally switch it out, but I have yet to try a different atomizer on this device, but I'm pretty sure it would work with any of the, any atomizer because it is the technology within this computer of the device. This is the V-Box. 70 watt TC with fast fire technology. Oh my god. It fires up in like 0.16 something seconds and it just it's so incredible and it, I like I said I believe I could put any atomizer on here and would fire up any atomizer that quickly with the fast fire technology but because I'm doing a one month update for this kit I've just kept these two together and I'm loving the Max Tank Pro. The coils are okay but I just can't get over <laughs> the fast fire technology from this device and the fact that when you have it in temperature or wattage mode it is very clear to what mode you're in and you cannot use you can't accidentally use the other mode back like you can't accidentally use temperature mode you have to spin the dial and it also highlights on the screen which mode you're in but you can't accidentally switch by pressing any accidental regulatory buttons or any fire buttons because I know some mods can change with the regulatory button combination or the fire button combination you know press number of presses this is there's no mistaking in that so I really like that but my favorite part about this is that it has the fast fire technology it just chucks the vapor I mean, clouds, bitch. You guys, this is amazing. I love, oh, you know what? I need to use this and the Cubis. Oh, we should try it right now. Woo, 
yeah, oh, it works with any atomizer. Holy crap. That really brought out the flavor of this atomizer. Whoa, that is amazing. I, oh my God, I just, I thought that, ooh, that's the next one. I thought that it would work best with the tank that it's supposed to come with, but this just proved that it works with any atomizer, the fast fire technology, and this combination is amazing. Okay, so moving on, this kind of like, the V-Box 70 watt TC is definitely my favorite device, but I kind of wanted to just give a mention to the Relo because it is so pretty and it is so powerful. I wouldn't quite say it's one of my favorites for February just quite because it's so heavy. Like I like it, I really do, but like I don't know if I can get past the heaviness, but I absolutely love it with my Troll RDA and this customized drip tip I got from Gator Board on Instagram. It looks so nice and people were asking me like, well, where'd you get the Troll with this? This actually is a custom drip tip, so it did not come with my Troll, but I really like the look of it. I, I don't know, it's like unique, it's shaped weird, but it's just, oh, with three batteries, it's heavy. But I felt like it needed like a little mention in my favorites video for February. So Rulo, everybody, because I know a lot of you love your Rulos. And this is the Rulo RX200. And I am going to be updating the firmware because everyone says after my first look review for it that um, the firmware makes the navigating the menu screen so much easier. So I can't wait to do that. I'm going to do that here this week and try it out. And probably doing a one month update for this because so many of you guys asked for it. So I And I have been using this with my Troll RDA for flavor testing as well as just using it with um, the Cubis as well. The Cubis I'm kind of like trying on different because that's what I do for the one month update like I try the atomizers on different things because I'm also doing a one month update for the Cubis. Okay, so last but not least my favorite e-liquid for February. This is usually the hardest part of my favorite videos like picking which e-liquids I liked more than the other ones. But this was hands down the winner. Like I liked some of the other e-liquid that I tried this month, but I didn't absolutely fall in love with the flavors as I did with this one. And I bet some of you could already guess because I've talked about it quite a bit this month. And no, it's not pounded. That's my all time favorite one. But it is the Strawberry Cheesecake by You Got E-Juice. It is $20 for this 120 milliliter bottle. You can see I have been savoring it though because it is so good. I just have so much more e-liquid to try around here that I try to savor the bottles I like. And this is definitely, I think I might like the strawberry cheesecake flavor more than their sugar cookie flavor. I definitely like the strawberry cheesecake more than their vanilla latte flavor, but those are like my top three of them. And oh my God, you just cannot beat the flavor is so good and the price is so cheap and I did actually two parts to a You Got E Juice review for their line because they have a bunch of flavors and so many of you say you like them and you know it's in your price range that I think I might even be doing a part three for this. I'm not sure yet because my review queue is just slammed. It is so full that I feel bad accepting any other review requests because it's so full and I'm like we're gonna have to wait quite a long time but some companies are okay with it some companies are like nah we'll pass but this company OMG so freaking good <sighs> I need more sugar cookie. I've been procrastinating because I still have like a whole bunch of pound it and milk plus that I need to vape too. And I'm trying to like savor this one so I don't have to buy another bottle because I just already have so much that I need to vape. But yes, the only favorite for February goes to sugar cheesecake. I did try five, maybe four or five of the flavors and they were, they're all good in their own like flavor profile way, but I like the strawberry cheesecake because strawberry flavored flavor profiles like strawberry milk, strawberry cream, strawberry cheesecake are one of my top favorite flavor profiles ever to vape and so this one is, I can say it now for sure, the best strawberry cheesecake vape that I've ever had because I've never actually bought a strawberry cheesecake vape over again. Like I've had some good ones, but I've never actually bought them again. And this one I would definitely buy again. I did buy the Milkman by the Vaping Rabbit over again, but that's a different type. It's a strawberry 
Pop-Tart Milkshake Vape. So it kind of has more of a sweetie, cookie, dessert vibe. This is just like straight up strawberry cheesecake. And I totally get my cheesecake fix because you guys know cheesecake in real life, it's like really rich. You can have like maybe half a slice before it's like so rich that you're like overpowering your sugar senses. But this just makes like, I'll vape this all day long. It's actually what's in my Cubist right now and on my troll. But yes, I love this. But anyways, that is it for my favorites. All of my favorites, super easy. Like, this is what my favorites were supposed to originally be, was like one or maybe two of each category, but I've had such troubles just picking one or two in the past, and this is like the first real month of like, this is my favorite, no questions. This one came, rise above the rest, and so that's it, but don't forget to let me know what your favorites are for this month. What are you loving? It doesn't have to be this month, but like, what are you absolutely loving? I will leave a link below to everything I talked about in my favorites video down in the description box, and you can like this video if you enjoyed it. You can subscribe to this channel for more reviews. You can check the description box below for important links like my favorites or where to fight for vaping rights or people always ask me what I use to film so I have that in a section down below as well. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like so if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related you can check out that channel so all of those links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys. I didn't have a Shamrock or St. Patrick's Day Hello Kitty plushie, so I just went with the one with the most green. And I looked on Amazon, I typed in like Shamrock Hello Kitty, Clover Hello Kitty, St. Patrick's Day Hello Kitty. They don't make them, but they make them for Valentine's Day, Easter, 4th of July, Christmas, Halloween. Where's the St. Patty's Day love?